Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amanda and today I'm gonna do part one of a four part series of Easter DIY decor items. I am so excited for these videos. I know you guys are gonna love them. A lot of it is Dollar Tree products, but um, some of it I had to get from Walmart, so very inexpensive items. Um, great way to brighten up your house for Easter with a very small budget. I hope you guys enjoy this little series and let's just go ahead and get started on project number one. Okay, so to get started on the first project, I am going to make a sign using these blocks and I'm going to put the little letters on them and glue them together so it'll say Easter. Now for the wood blocks um, from the Dollar Tree I found these little games. They have basketball, I think baseball or football or something as well. Um, this is what they look like and I just took the wood block and I went ahead and I painted uh, two coats on the top so you can see um, I painted the sides. I didn't bother painting the bottom, but I did paint the top, but I painted the sides. This is what the back looks like. Now for me, you're not going to see the back at all because it's gonna be sitting on my buffet and you'll never see any of this, but I did just do one quick coat of, um, just one coat of the white paint on the back. But I've got all of them painted. I used six of them. This is the paint that I use. This is just the Apple Barrel uh, Matte White Paint. Um, this worked wonderful and it also dried super fast. So I was really impressed with that. Um, and again, I did two coats on the top just to cover up the wood grain. There was a little bit of black, like a stamp, like writing or something down here at the bottom, uh, but you can't even see it. So that paint worked out wonderful. I did go ahead and paint also just three um, large craft sticks uh, in case I need something to kind of stabilize the back. I wanted to go ahead and have that ready. Um, painting on camera is really boring, so I just went ahead and did that stuff ahead of time for you. Now I'm also going to um, be adding the letters um, like this onto the blocks and I'm spelling out Easter. Um, you could definitely use a stencil and paint these on. I just went ahead and did my uh, vinyl and cut them out in different colors. I wanted each letter to be a different color. And um, so I've got those ready to go. Um, I'm also going to add, and we're just gonna see how this works or how this goes, but I've got some bunny ears and I thought maybe once I get it all put together, I'll put some bunny ears on one end. I went ahead and bought the huge bunny tail but I also have a piece of cotton here, just in case this thing is huge. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, so we'll see. But I also have me a little, um, this is like the super jumbo cotton ball. This might end up being a little bit more appropriate for the size. Uh, so let me go ahead and let's get started and, and I'll show you how to put this together. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys, I did go ahead and do a couple of marks already on the, um, on the boards here and like hopefully you guys can see that that's about an inch down where that mark is that's where the top of my letter will go so every one of them I already have marked that way and then on the pieces that are going to be what I'm calling the bottom pieces I went ahead and hopefully you can see that as well I've got it marked about um, a quarter of an inch in on each one of these um, on the bottom and I also did that on the top. So hopefully you guys can see those little marks. Now, if you're really worried about the marks on the top showing, they you could always go back and cover it up with um, some white paint and I'm not worried about the bottom either. So um, just to show you an idea of what it's gonna look like, I've got um, this little, let's see, I'm sorry, hold on. This will sit up here, this one will go underneath. This one goes underneath and then that one will be on the top okay so it's kind of kind of alternate and i am going to i've been kind of debating am i going to put the letters on first or am i going to go ahead and glue them together first i think i'm going to go ahead and glue them together i cut down all of my letters a little bit smaller um the excess paper around it so i think i'm going to go ahead and do that i may end up messing it up but let's just see all right <laughs> So to start it off, I am going to put some hot glue. And again, on this first one, I do have it already marked up here and I have it marked down here. And I'm going to actually mark, um, put the glue on the back side of the top piece 
uh, just in case there's any excess. Um, hopefully it won't. I went ahead and pulled this the extra one that I had I went ahead and pulled it out I'm gonna just put it here for support because uh, this one's gonna be kind of free floating in the air um, and just for gluing purposes I just want it to have something sturdy so I am going to just use this as a um, you know just to kind of balance it out here but I'm not actually using it for the completed project Ah. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so I'm gonna hot glue this piece back on. I don't think I had quite enough glue on there. And you do want to kind of work quickly with it as well, just so your glue is not drying. Um, you know, maybe I should be using wood glue, who knows. Okay. All right, and again, I'm just using that to stabilize just so everything has a nice evenness to it. And then um, let me, I'm gonna leave that for just a minute and then let's go ahead and I'm just gonna take some transfer tape and start putting my letters on here. So I've got all of my letters on there. So this is what it's looking like. I think it's so cute already. I am super excited. Now, again, I talked about using those craft sticks on the back side here. I just, again, want to stabilize it a little. So I am going to um, glue, I'm going to do three of them since I painted three of them. And I'm just going to kind of glue these on here and I'm going to hold them down real good and we'll see. Um, again, just just in case these things don't want to stick together. I mean the bottom ones it kind of is what it is But I'm hoping that maybe this will just stabilize it just a little bit here Okay, so I've got that glued on and this is where we're at with the little sign and I'm gonna get my bunny ears and let's see what we can do with those Okay, so um, the Easter bunny ears, let me move this out of the way here. Um, I got these from the Dollar Tree and I'm not in love with the pink stuff, but you know what, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to cut them off of the headband and then I'm going to hot glue them um, on these first two here, uh, just to kinda give him his ears. So let me go ahead. Let's just see, there's something in here. I'm hoping that I can just cut that right. I might have to actually cut the headband. Actually, that, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm not sure what you guys could see on that, but this is actually what just worked the best. Taking it, it's like a piece of plastic that's in there. So my scissors cut right through it. Okay, and cut the thing off too. So um, I do wanna keep it like folded over like that. So being that this is popped open just a little, I'm gonna add just a dab of hot glue. I'm sure this is probably gonna like melt it, but whatever. Just wanna fold it back over. Okay. 
And then on this one, um, it stayed, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm going to pull this up here. Yep. See, there's the plastic that just came out. <laughs> So I tell you what, I'm going to add just a little bit of hot glue in there as well to seal that back up. Just in there a little bit like that. Okay, so I think that's how it's gonna end up like that. And I think it's gonna end up on the board here in here so it's um it'll they'll stay kind of even kilter here so i think that actually turned out pretty cute right there and it seems like it's holding nice so let's see where we want or what we want to do about the bunny tail so I'm thinking either the bunny tail, let me, let me turn it this way, show you guys. Should the bunny tail go on the side? Does it go on the end here of the R? Um, this one just seems so big. I just don't know if that's, I think I'm gonna make an executive decision and that one's out. We're just gonna do the little cotton ball. And I think I'm gonna do it right on the end of the R here. So it's in the front. I just think it'll be cuter that way. Not as big and gaudy. So I'm just gonna add a pretty good dollop of glue there. I want this to stay fluffy, so I don't wanna like press down too much on it. But that glue should hold pretty well. Okay. So this is it. So this is the final project. I love this so much. I just think it turned out so cute. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, this is video number one of a four part series of my Easter DIY decor. And make sure if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell too, so you know when I upload parts two, three, and four. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.